believe you're doing heartily well. Now, Bolame Tinimbu's aide have resigned. And recall that military resigned and joined the British military and Canadian military. And this is exactly what is happening under Bolame Tinimbu's government. Now, Bolame Tinimbu is in China for a summit and he made a statement concerning what is happening. Recall that is, there is serious increase in petrol price in this country. We are skyrocketed from... 200 naira down to 500 naira from 500 naira to 1000 and it has gotten to 1500 naira nigerians are lamenting now the supporters of bola metinimbo are lamenting the aides are lamenting the government workers are lamenting even the minimum wage they have just increased have equated to 70 liters of that particular price of the petrol and now bola metinimbo has now been questioned over there in china what are you doing because residents of you know, indigenous of nigerians who are residing in china made a statement and called him to order and he had this to say which i'm going to be showing you you know the message he replied over the high price high rate of commodity and other things even the high rate of the petrol have now shocked everybody a lot of persons were expecting him to make statements that are you know equitable but i need to see the statement he made just as usual as if that is not enough bola metinimbu supporters have been lamenting and now it has gotten it has been broadened down to the fact where they have started stating that 2027 they will make drastic change. That time has gone when they will support Muslim Muslim ticket and even support a government over the other based on tribalism, nepotism and other vices affecting this country. Now before I begin to show you exactly what Bola Metinimbu has said, let me leave you with exactly the support of Bola Metinimbu. This was one of the persons that supported Bola Metinimbu toothlessly in the last presidential election. Now look at what he is facing. Listen attentively when we come back we'll continue. I'm, my father no need Nigeria money. My father no need Nigeria money. In what talk so? Say Nigeria no need. In uh, what no need Nigeria money? Say they want to keep Nigeria because me I can't look because I have all over go vote for them. You don't see problem they keep me. They put you for problem now. Big problem. For what? My father. I, I remember past time. My father sent me for eleven naira per liter. My father said Nigeria don't spoil. If they my father never buy now, see where they are they buy now. If you know say Nigeria no spoil for that time when they will. Say one thousand three, I buy five like three point three, three point eight. And you must, you must work. Don't I don't go eat. You don't work any work this morning. I never work one era. They see they no price better money. Say I give us. Say we can sort my work my money. I beg, I beg, I beg. If my if my father don't tire, make him resign. I no benefit anything for the government too. Right, As we been keep since how many years for fourteen years for good luck. I think it's a nine time while I go finish them. No way for me again. Spend now 8,000 plus now. Right. Come to tell me, say. Thank you, thank you. Continue the work for me. Continue the work with the video. Listen attentively to what he has stated. It is obvious that it is hitting hard both on the rich and the poor and all across political parties and all across religion. And this is exactly what is happening. Now, not only Bola Metinimbu that should be blamed over this. And that is why Very Dark Man, the video I'm going to be showing you now, as you see on your background, Very Dark Man made a statement over state governors making some drastic measures without even having human conscience it is obvious that this governor came out and stated that he used this huge amount of money to rehabilitate boreholes in the states and very dark man has stated that when he did a borehole in a, a certain state it is not as equated to this now every center and every glamour and every blame is centering on the federal government recall that these state governors are receiving their state allowances, their state allocations that is not even getting down to the local government, notwithstanding that the local government autonomy has been signed. Now, a lot of things happen. Now, very dark man has this to say. He sent a message all across to state governors that in, in, in as much as we are blaming the federal government, Bola Metinibu's government, we should also know that Bola Metinibu has released huge amount of money for this state governor. So when the blame is going to the federal, they stay in state and embezzle fund. Now listen attentively to what he has to say. I want to come back and exactly show you what Bola Metinibu has sent as a message over the fuel price increase. Yeah, I've never watched anything more annoying like this video. Now watch. I'm better. Now, that is the governor of Sokoto State, Aliyu Ahmed. So he said, if you don't understand how, so let me interpret. He's saying that um, they budgeted and they repaired 25 boreholes with 1.2 billion era. Now, we have 999 million, we have another um, 100 million, and 200 million in 1.2 billion. And he said he used that to repair 25 boreholes. 
Do you understand? See, Nigerian youth, it's now time for you to leave this Tinubu, this Tinubu, Tinubu, where everybody they talk. Don't they make all these state governors don't know? Say, okay, yes, if these people are putting blame on Tinubu, then we can easily do anything. Nothing touches these state governors. It's time to leave Tinubu. Tinubu don't drop the money. Do you understand? Did Tinubu not give them money? Where did they get this 1.2 billion from? It is from the budget that they gave to his own state. Do you understand? How would you tell your state people that you use 1.2 billion naira to Repair 25 boreholes. I don't do borehole for one uh, for one uh, community for a lorry. How much did I spend? Do you understand? As I'm talking to you now, I have budget for some boreholes I want to do for some states. How much did I spend? I spent almost five million naira, right? So that money that that man is talking about, so can give or take, he can do like 500, 500 million boreholes. Do you understand? Now, all of us, the Nigerian youth, we need to stop doing what our forefathers did. Whether we point out holy to the presidents. Do you understand? You point out only to the president is wrong. All these state governments, all these state governors, they are getting, they are getting it easy. It's time to protest. You see, if you want to even do protest again, it's time to stand against your own governors in your state to say, why is our road not good? If this man is saying he's using 1.2 billion naira to repair 25 boroughs, imagine how much he will collect to repair roads. I watch this thing with so much disgust in my heart, with so much hunger in my heart. Because, yes, it's not my state, but it is crazy. Let's stop this bandwagon of, eh, every time Tinubu, every time Tinubu, did Tinubu not give these people money? You heard it now? Am I crazy? These are the people putting country inside, inside a mess. Time don't reach every say when I will come out for this Tinubu nonsense. Do you understand? It's time to forget all these things. Focus on your state governors. My road is not good in Edo state. Do you understand? From Edo to Wari, from Edo to Delta state is not supposed to be give or take. It's not even supposed to be up to 30 minutes. But you go use 4 hours, 3 hours till you go, till you go Delta state. Whose fault is that? Now saying a federal road, federal road. You as a state governor, don't you want your state to be good? I will come and say, but Tinubu, which Tinubu again? Now before, yes, me self, I like to insult Tinubu. It is my right to insult Tinubu. But there are some things that I sat down and I calculated and I said, no. No. Your state is bad. There's no road in your state. Tell your governor. Protest against your own governor first. You don't have good schools. Protest against your state governors first. Don't let them go out easily. Attentively to what very dark man is stated. It is obvious that there is a sense in what he has stated. State governors are hiding on the covers of the federal government, notwithstanding that they are receiving funds. And Tinubu is in China, that's just as we stated, he had this to say over the fuel increase. Listen attentively to what he has to say. When we come back, we'll wrap up. The country is going through a very strong phase of reform. And this reform is taking a very bold and hard decision. For example, you might be hearing from whom now in the last few days about fuel prices. But can we help it? Can we develop? You use their good roads there. Eh? You see electricity being constant. You see water supply being constant and running. And you see their good schools. And we say we want to hand over a banner without staying to our children. What is the critical path to get us there? If we cannot take hard, painful decisions to pave the way for that country that is so blessed, so talented, so many of you talents here speaking Chinese and all you know, their language. It is what you equally 
contribute and tell them at all that we reflect in the attitude of our parents. The more we want everything free, the more it becomes expensive to develop. <laughs> That's it. It's, it's difficult. Uh, it's a good road, sir. I want to emulate and reflect it back home. I want our children to be in good schools, not in tattered hordes and dilapidated uh, classrooms. We make teaching interesting and make business flourish. One economic action leads to another. It is in your hand to build our nation. I want you to provide the leadership that is necessary, and I'm committed to that. Clearly, he has made the statement, and he made it very clear that there is no going back in this fuel increase in price, that the Nigerians over there in China are virtually hearing it from their relatives in Nigeria. But there is no going back that we should all pass through the track of pain to enjoy in future. And this is exactly what he has stated. And there is no going back in this price. The question happened. Now, react on the comment section. I haven't heard what Bolamet Nimbo has stated. And he has made a very clear statement. Don't forget to share this video, like this video, and do it often. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell of this channel so that you always get information when we drop them promptly.